Oh, hey there. I'm seminarian Eugene. And I'm seminarian Marcus. And both of us are in formation in the St. Francis Xavier Major Seminary of Singapore. You know, in the past, I had always thought that the only way I could connect with God and the church was through the Mass. But did you know that there is yet another way that the people of God have been doing so for centuries? That is true, the Divine Office. Welcome to the first of a series of videos on the Divine Office, where we share more about our tradition. And we hope that at the end of this, you too will embark on this journey of prayer in Christ. Now let us begin by asking, what is the Divine Office? Now the word divine clearly means that it has something to do with God, while office points to some kind of work or duty to be done. So you may then ask, what exactly is this work to be done? And who does it? Well, in the Gospel of St. Luke, Jesus himself asks us to pray continually and to never lose heart. Now the divine office is our response, the church's response to Christ, to pray unceasingly with him to the Father for the world. This act of praying is the work. It is important to know that the prayer is neither private nor individual. You know, like how we usually pray to God? Is this me and God? For when we pray the divine office, we are really praying together as a church, as the body of Christ. Can you imagine all of us praying the one same prayer together with all the other members of the church around the world? And to top it off, we are participating in the prayer of Jesus Christ, the head of the mystical body. For when we pray the divine office, we are also joining Christ in his prayer for the salvation of all mankind. Hence, we are not just praying for ourselves, but we are joining him in praying for the needs of the whole world. So in this divine office, we unite ourselves with Christ in his prayer of praise and thanksgiving to the Father. So the divine office is also known as the liturgy of the hours. And the prayers in the divine office primarily come from the word of God, experienced in the Psalms and various passages of scripture. And these are prayed at different hours of the day. So the Divine Office is still accessible to us even now. You can go to Universalist, which will direct you automatically to the prayer of the day. Just follow the tiny URL or this QR code. My dear brothers and sisters, this is an opportune time for us to reclaim our tradition as it being the prayer of the people. You know, Eugene and I both come from different backgrounds and we both go through different experiences in formation. But I find that whenever we both come to pray together, we come to share in each other's joys and pains. So when you pray with us, we share in your joys and struggles, one body in Christ and one church with Christ our head. We really pray together through Christ, in Christ, and with Christ. Let us take up the habit of praying the Divine Office today so that we may be united as one with Christ and His Church. So we look forward to seeing you in the next videos so where we will delve deeper into more details of, of the depth of this liturgy. Till then, do keep us seminarians in your prayers and we will also pray for you. This is Seminary Eugene. And this has been Seminary Marcus. Goodbye, Goodbye and God, God bless. bless.